in Scotland had quite a positive autumn series. They lost to Australia with only five minutes to go. They beat Argentina with the last kick of the game and then almost the shackles were off when they played against Georgia and uh, scored some great tries. Uh, a real improvement for Vern Cotter's team. Yeah, I think a lot of credit to Vern Cotter. I think he's got a really good side playing well. I think it's a huge disappointment not beating Australia because I thought they deserved to. And I thought the rugby was very positive. I thought Jones in the centre, you know, really did excel. And then you've got somebody like Bennett replacing him. So, you know, big pluses for, for Scotland in that respect. Uh, but I thought up front as well, you know, with the youngsters, the two props coming in. Uh, Alan Dell and Dell, Xander Fagerson. Yes. yes. You know, just, I think, have put something in there that, that was maybe a concern. So you've got a platform, you've got the Gray brothers, back row options now. Uh, I do like Barclay, I must admit. You know, I, I like the way he plays, but, but with Wilson, you know, the, there's a lot of potential uh, variety in the, in the back row. And I just think, uh, you know, Greg, from Greg Laidlaw out, Finn Russell, the Bennett, Stuart Hogg uh, triangle looks good. Sean Maitland's probably playing the best rugby of his career. Uh, and they showed against Argentina, the big lesson was they, learned, they knew how to win. Yeah. And they learned how to win. And sometimes that's the most important thing. And then they showed against Georgia, actually, we can play some rugby as well. And I think um, they, they can pick and choose their moments. And I think it's a big lesson learned for the Six Nations, where they'll dig in, win and get the points on the board when they need to. And if, if Scotland get an opportunity, I think watch out the rest.